Today I'm exploring an abandoned middle school. Yeah, you heard that right. We're going back to the good old days of being a young teenager. We're not falling asleep in class and trying to look cool were some of your biggest worries. Featuring exciting finds such as math lessons, graded homework, and a whole lot of rules. Everything started out like normal. Your typical Midwestern weather, a search for a way in that's never quite as easy as you'd expect. And that's when we heard the noise of a group approaching. Now I'm sure these fine lads wouldn't have given us any trouble, but you never know who you're going to run into while exploring, so I'd prefer to skip the meet and greet altogether. After it was clear the group had moved on, we took a moment to appreciate our surroundings. It was strange to think that one day the teacher had used this chalkboard for the last time ever, and now this mundane lesson stood as a piece of history. Or I guess it was math. In fact, if you just looked past the broken glass, scrapped electronics, and distraught desks, plus the fallen cabinets, random trash, and that massive stain on the ground, this place was basically good as new. But I couldn't spend all day looking at maps, so I pressed onward to more exciting things, like piles of encyclopedias, or the state-of-the-art electric pencil sharpener. Maybe I should just cut to some music. As I entered this classroom, I could tell that it seemed abnormally fun. The room was full of woodworking machines of all types. Unfortunately, I can't tell you much about them. I never actually took wood shop in middle school. But it is surprising to see all of this left behind. Or at least it would be, if you didn't know that this was actually pretty common for the area. The school was originally closed due to repeated poor performance. It then operated under a different name for a couple years, until funding issues closed it for good. The finances of this school district are pretty much always hanging by a thread. We continued heading deeper into the school, although the noises from what must have been the wind had us on edge. Luckily the spookiness was interrupted by a cool find. While this abandoned auditorium is one of the smaller ones that I've explored, it probably had the most intact chairs. We then started to check out another classroom before being interrupted by something. After some debate, we agreed it was probably nothing. Walking past rows and rows of empty lockers was a rather eerie sight, with nothing but the occasional Christmas decoration or fun little murals to brighten the journey. Well, aside from my massive camera light, we then decided to check out the upper floor of this wing, where we found more empty lockers, less murals, and surprisingly the same amount of light. But I did find out how to write zero in binary. After seeing enough empty lockers for a lifetime, we finally stumbled upon something more interesting. Although it didn't take Nancy Drew to figure out what this place was, we had just found the school's library, which was full of abandoned books. It was a shame to see all of this go to waste, but unfortunately I'm sure these books were the least of the school's worries. Just think about all the machinery and electronics that had to be left behind, only to have later been stolen by scrappers. We then stumbled upon a surprisingly interesting utility room that apparently doubled as someone's office. Whoever used this space certainly kept a wide variety of stuff on hand. Before entering the next classroom, I carefully examined all of the rules. I can see why she needed such strict rules. We then made our way back downstairs, where I found the perfect moment to insert a legal disclaimer. The content shown in this video is intended for entertainment purposes only and should only be replicated by trained professionals. I am not a trained professional, but that does not mean I am teaching, influencing, or otherwise encouraging any individuals to engage in any of these activities. Failure to adhere to this warning may result in disapproving looks from strangers, disapproving looks from people you know, a loss of personal funds, mesothelioma, a disconnect from everyday life, legal complications, or even death. 
With that out of the way, our adventure continued into what appeared to be the nurse's office. I guess they weren't kidding about keeping these windows shut. We then continued onward to another section of the school, where we found a surprisingly well-lit hallway, a sizable gladiator arena, and a room full of old sports uniforms. Oh, not to mention some pretty cool bingo cards. All of which led up to this cool find. If you didn't quite catch that, this exterior door suddenly flung open. Surprisingly no one stepped inside after that, so I'm going to have to once again chalk this one up to the wind. Nevertheless, we weren't exactly sure what had happened, so we decided to move on from the gym. Shortly after we found ourselves in the school's rather small cafeteria, all of the colorful walls helped to brighten the mood. It looked like all of the kitchen equipment was left behind. However, I'm not sure how much of it actually still worked to begin with. We then made our way down a hallway lined with boarded up windows, before arriving at our final destination, an auxiliary gym that apparently also doubled as an eating area. We didn't find too much out of the ordinary here. Another maintenance closet, an old trophy next to a pile of books, and some more uniforms. But I wish I could have explored even more of this place. At this point we were both more than a little on edge. So it was definitely time to say farewell.